hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b cubed and its whole square root is equals to square root of 8 and we solve this problem for all the values of b so here you see that this is the cubic equation it means that this equation has three roots so that now we need to find all that three roots of this equation so here the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to remove the square root sign from both of these sides and in order to remove this square root sign we need to take squaring on both of the sides so that when we apply squaring it will be written as in this form so this is square root of 8 and its whole square and uh, further in the next step you see here uh, these two and this square root are cancelled out by each other and we get this is b cubed equals to this two and this square root are also cancelled out by each other and we get 8 only and further in the next step here we need to move uh, this 8 from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes b cubed and this is positive term becomes negative 8 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, further uh, here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, so here you see that we rewrite this equation as this is b cubed minus this is 8 we write this 8 into the prime factors form and the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need uh, to use here the nice cubic formula you know about that if we have x cubed minus y cubed is equals to x minus y times of x square plus xy plus y square and uh, you see here the base of this term is our x and the base of this term is our y and here we need to substitute the values of x and y uh, in this equation so here further you see that we have the value of x is b and when you put b here it will becomes b minus y the value of y is 2 into this is x squared the value of x is b squared plus xy the value of x is b and y is 2 plus y squared the value of y is 2 squared and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here further we need more simplifications and it will be written as b minus 2 times of b squared plus this is 2b plus this 2 squared becomes 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write b square plus 2b plus 4 is equals to 0 and from here we easily get the value of b is equals to 2 so this is the first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation and you know that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method second one is completing square method and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here we use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation uh, so that here first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 capital b is equals to 2 and capital c is equals to 4 so these are the three coefficients of this equation and here we state the quadratic formula as small b is equals to uh, this is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a b and c here so we have b is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square so b is 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 square and this 2 square becomes here 4 minus 
this is 4 times 4 becomes 16 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and now here in the next step we have b is equals to minus 2 plus minus square root of this is 4 minus 16 and 4 minus 16 becomes minus 12 and it is divided by 2. So here we need to focus inside the square root sign and we will just break this minus 12 and it will be written as this is uh, 4 multiplied by 3 into and here we have square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So further we have in the next step this is minus 2 plus minus here we know that square root of 4 becomes 2 times of square root of 3 and this is square root of minus 1 becomes iota and here we need to break this fraction and when you break this fraction it will be written as in this form and now you see here this two and this two are cancelled out by each other and we get here minus one plus minus this two and this two are also cancelled out by each other and here we get square root of three into iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and finally we have the three roots of the given equation are these are the two complex root and b is equals to two b the uh, one real root of the given equation so these are the three uh, final roots and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos